Hey guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators, the show where we are preserving our Masonic history through telling the stories of some of the objects that we've collected over the years. Um, I have an extensive collection, as I'm sure you do as well. And uh, this is an open invite to get you to make your own Masonic Curator video. Go to MasonicCurators.com to check out the submission guidelines. And let's get your video right here on this channel. Today, I've got something very interesting to show you. In fact, I was recently giving a presentation, a Skype presentation, for a lodge in Missouri. And we talked about colonial Freemasonry. And we talked about some of the interesting ways that we taught ritual and how ritual was used in these small public houses. Uh, one of the things that I mentioned were uh, the stories of these Masonic steins or beer glasses or old tracing boards that appeared on cups or steins. Um, and perhaps how they may have been used to uh, show the symbols of Freemasonry as well as explain these things while you were having a pint or perhaps more. Uh, and somebody said, well, have you ever seen one of those in person? I said, well, you know, I just happened to have one and I got to show it off um, over the Skype. And somebody had suggested, why don't you do a Masonic Curators on that stein? So here I am, I'm going to show it to you. Uh, is a very, very nice stein. Uh, the top and the bottom. Now, for an explanation, the top says, says uh, Holy Bible. And it has uh, the word God instead of just the G, which is a little unusual for uh, American Masonry. Usually it's just the G, and I guess internationally it's a little strange to put anything in there at all. Um, however, on the outside it does have a small poem that says, A True Mason. On the cover here, or on the cover on the front, you'll see the uh, Holy Royal Arch, the All-Seeing Eye, the Sun, the Moon, the Tree... Perhaps uh, the Solomon's Temple there, Book of Holy Scriptures, uh, 47th Problem of Euclid. Um, tons of symbology here. I'll have an up-close picture that I can post that hopefully will be overlaid over my face so you don't have to look at my ugly mug and you can look at the pretty mug. Uh, we also have on the back here it says, Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Matthew 7, 7, and of course has the uh, altar. Now, the, it opens, and it's very solid. It's a stein you could use. And uh, on the bottom, it actually says, Be faithful unto death. Produced by Brother Stanley C. Buzz, copyright 2002. Produced for Brother Josiah Darby of Warwick, England, 8th edition number 171 in a special limited edition of 1.250 pieces produced exclusively for charity of love and I will give thee a crown of life is what it says here uh, and this also came with a certificate of authenticity which I will show you now here is the certificate and the certificate reads the English Blue Lodge Stein was produced for Brother Josiah Darby of Warwick, England. This is a special edition, what is the eighth edition in the Masonic Stein collection. The artwork on the front of the stein was supplied by Brother Josiah Darby, and the Masonic poem and the artwork on the other side of the picture was supplied by myself. This stein contains three 22-carat gold banding, and the artwork is inlaid in 18-carat gold banding. The number on the bottom of the certificate will match the number on the bottom of the sign. Designed by Stan Buzz, it is signed. Certificate Stein number 0171 out of 1,250 pieces. Stein and certificate date October 2nd, 2002. Perhaps you have one of these at home, and if you do, I urge you to share a picture of it or throw some images up on Imager or imager, however you want to pronounce that, and uh, share those links to those images, perhaps in the uh, video notes on YouTube. And that's it for today. Again, make your own video. Head on over to MasonicCurators.com. Check out the rest of them. We hope to see you all next time, right here 